This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abedur Planner, Mr. Green, Camp Power, and Marcus Beal. Yo, what's up? This is a Citroën E Space Tour, and in this video, I'm going to try to measure how much space we have in the trunk uh, with banana boxes. So, for you guys who are new to the channel, we do this practical test to get an impression of how much space we actually have yeah with some uh, restrictions in the size of the banana boxes but before we start let's take a look under the hood in the front okay oh okay there you go uh we have this thing here with the put there whoa there's a lot of space here what huh let me go grab some boxes just to show you what is possible maybe ah, okay 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 maybe not maybe not yeah well, it doesn't it doesn't wait it could, I could almost squeeze it in here, yeah. That's what he said. Wait, wait, maybe what about this one? This one, yeah, yeah. Is it? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you see, before I start, I have to show you what it looks like here in the front. So it's a passenger van. So we have, well, the seats are not configured to be facing backwards. You can then switch it forward. I will not do that. So you see, we have lots of stuff here inside. So lots of cabin space is taken now, which means less cargo space. So in the back then, it looks something like this. We have a partial shelf we can just take out. Uh, let me put it over here, roughly. And then we have some charging cables. We can take out these. And there's some, uh, well, floor mats. And some, uh, this is just, uh, protection net for when you put cargo in there. So we just take out all these. And the way is we have more floor mats here. Okay, let's take out everything. Ah, okay, this one at least. And this is it. This is the cargo space we have available. So it then depends on, I guess, these seats. Yeah, let me check it out. So this is always the question. How do we configure the seats for cargo loading? So, if I do this, I can fold the seats. I can show you here. You can completely fold the seats, okay, that's fine. But for cargo, I guess the rule is we wanna... There, it will click in there. But what's cool about this car, I mean this van, is that you can actually recline it a little bit. But that will eat the cargo space. So for this one, for this van, you will see that unlike the Ionic 5, when it locks here, it's not 90 degrees, not 90 degrees Celsius, <laughs> but it's not 90 degrees. It's actually okay angle. So we're gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna show it for the other ones also. <clears throat> Wait, there you see. We just click it in space there, and then we fill it up in the back. Right, I fill it to the max. Uh, it's barely closing, flexing the boxes a little bit, but I think that's good enough. <laughs> so, let me see. One, what, do I even need to count them for you? Two, three, four, five, ten boxes. Ten boxes, which is actually less than um, the Ionic 5. Hmm. Okay, let's fill it. Uh, let's uh, try now. I have to try to fold the seat somehow. So, what I'll probably do is just fold the seat here. See? Fold the third row. All three of them. They fold flat. But I don't think we should push it more forward. You see, these seats here, they are now in the backward position. You can twist, twist it around, but uh, I just don't, uh, uh, don't want to do it. It's uh, kind of cumbersome for me to do it alone. So I'll just leave it like this. But you see, we have some leg room. And I think we will just try to fill up, maybe until here, roughly-ish. We should be the same if you would rotate the seat. Yeah, something like this. We fill it until this uh, level here, roughly. And then, of course, all the way to the top. All right, I have filled the van to the max. So this looks a bit weird because, what the heck? How are these people supposed to have the legs? Well, the thing is that uh, I didn't bother flipping the seat around because I actually haven't figured out how to do it. But you see, we have untapped space here, which means that if we would rotate the seat, then these two boxes should be able to fit in the back there. So I think this is pretty fair to do it. Okay. As usual, let's turn up the pitch and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, tw
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Hmm. 24 boxes you know you might be thinking hey but ionic 5 can take even more boxes well but then for that case then ionic 5 only has two two seats in the front here we have four seats available so <laughs> it is this is way bigger but compared to the eqv then the eqv has even more space way more space but again you know this practical test shows you how big these vans are so yeah Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.